That's now head down south and we have one new Cebu desk, Dale Israel. Okay, Dale, dito'y second to the last thing filing. Makulay, ma maigay. Kamusta ang filing ng COCs dyan sa Cebu? Yes, uh, may hapon, Lord and Denise. We were at Mandawi City this morning, one of the places in Cebu that has a colorful and hotly contested elections between the prominent Owano and the Cortez clans. Last month, Mandawi City Mayor Jonas Cortez was suspended for one year. And just last week, another order from the Ombudsman was released. And this time, it is a dismissal from service because of another case involving a road construction with a contractor without permits. Cortez continued to file his uh, certificate of candidacy, even if the dismissal order accompanies with it a perpetual disqualification from the government or from government service. His group said they will fight off the order in a legal battle. He actually filed his COC last Friday. It's uh, a day after the order was released to the public. For those who didn't know, the Cortez and the Wano clash in Mandawi started even in the 1980s. Mandawi is the, one of the biggest cities in the Visayas and is located just beside Cebu City. Now, this morning, provincial board member Tadeo Jonki Iwano filed his candidacy for mayor against Cortez after hearing mass at the National Shrine of St. Joseph. Together with his sister, Congresswoman Loli Papuano Dizon, the group marched in the festival parade with supporters going to the Comelec and Madawi City Sports Complex. There were balloons, festival dancers, dressed in colorful costumes and loud music and chants. I think there are about a thousand supporters who joined in the, the parade. This will be the second uh, time for uh, Jonki versus Jonas clash in the elections. If Cortez, COC, will not be junked by the Comelec because it requires a TRO from the court. Congresswoman Lollipop Uwano Dizon is seeking re-election also in the 2025 polls. Take note that both Uwanos and Corteses are allies of Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia in the One Cebu Party. Speaking of Garcia, a retired seaman filed his COC last Friday against the governor. The 67-year-old Valeriano Ginko from Baring in Carmen, Cebu, said uh, he has 32 years experience abroad which allowed him to know means in other countries that he wants to implement in Cebu. Governor Garcia will file her COC tomorrow. Uh, morning at the provincial public office in Cebu City. In Bohol province, Lord, a uh, new name has entered politics and filed his candidacy for congressman in the first district. Attorney Jordan Pizaras, a known lawyer because of environmental cases he won in Pinpanglao Island and other pro bono things with NGOs and underprivileged individuals in Bohol. Pizaras was, uh, wants to protect the environment and fight injustice on, uh, in, in the uh, on Bolanos. Pizarras is running under the Acton Democratic Party as uh, the Tig Panalipod or the protector of the people. The incumbent congressman in the first district of Bohol is Congressman Edgar Chato, who is on his last term as a member of the House of Representatives. Last Friday, incumbent Bohol Governor Aris Omentado filed his COC for his second term as governor of Bohol. He wants to continue the programs and projects he started in his first term. Amitado's wife, Vanessa, is also seeking re-election as congresswoman in the 2nd District of Bohol. Makana ang mga balitang dagko nga atong nakuha gikan din sa Central Visayas. Gikan sa Dakwen sa Subo. Back to you guys at the studio. Dagang salamat and amping. Maraming maraming salamat siyo. That was one News Cebu Desk Editor and the Freeman Editor also, Dale Israel.